channel. In today's video lesson, we are going to learn how we can create Turbosy type menu in Turbosy. This is part one of this series. In this video lesson, we are going to learn about ASCII code and scan code of the key pressed by the user. Let's do it practically. Double click on Turbo C icon on the desktop to start Turbo C ID. Select new from the file menu to create new source file. Now I am going to include necessary files first. So hash include stdio.h hash include void main open brace close brace we need only one variable for this program say key clrs here print f trace Now I am going to compile it and then execute it. So Alt F9, no problem. Now running the program and pressing enter now. So I am going to press enter key, enter and you can see ASCII value of the key equal to I am going to rerun this program again. Control F9. And now I am going to press a lowercase letter key that is A. So, lowercase letter A. And you can see the ASCII value of the key equal to 97. Now we are going to understand this concept using this image. If you press any special key from the keyboard that is function key, arrow key or numeric keypad keys then their ASCII value will be 0. Why this happen? Let's try to understand. When we press any key from the keyboard the keyboard circuit transmits a sequence of one or more 8 bit numbers to a computer this sequence of 8 bit is called the scan code and it uniquely identifies the key you pressed each key available on the keyboard has a unique scan code the ROM bias routine translates scan code into two byte sequence the first byte contains the ASCII value of the key you hit and 
the second byte contain the scan code of the key you hit. If the key you hit is a special key such as function key, arrow key or numeric keypad keys then the first byte contains value 0 whereas the second byte contains the scan code of the key. Now we are moving to our program. Now rerun the program and press F1 key, F1 function key, control F9. Now I am going to press F1. Okay. Note that 8CH is not working. That's why without pressing any key, we are back into the Turbo C editor. By pressing Alt plus F5, you can view the output. And you will notice that the ASCII value of the key is 0. So, Alt F5. Because we pressed F1, that is special key. And the ASCII value of all special keys is 0. Then, how do we know which key is pressed by the user? It is quite simple using scan codes by accessing second byte. So, we are going to modify our program. So, if key equal to 0, if you hit, sorry, any special key, then accessing second byte that is key equal to get ch second byte printf percent comma scan code equal to okay else opening this closing this ask you allow the key equal to here we can write scan code of the key equal to percent key now save the program compile it and run it Now we are going to press any special key from the keyboard. Press F1 key now and you will get 59, the scan code of the F1 key. Now return the program and press a arrow key after running it, Control F9. I am going to press a arrow key. So, this 72 is the scan code of the key that is up arrow key. Okay. And if you rerun this program and press different keys from the keyboard, this program shows ASCII and scan code of the key you press. Let's rerun it one more time. Control F9. Now, I'm going to press space bar from the keyboard. So, this 32 is the ASCII value of space bar. In this way, by using this program, we are able to find the ASCII and
scan code of the key placed by the user. In the next video lesson, we are going to convert this code into function and return ASCII and scan code from the function. So that's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.